Hi everyone, it's Mia, welcome back to my channel. Today, as you've clearly seen by the title, this is a Valentine's Day Get Ready With Me, um, as this will be my last upload before Valentine's Day, so I thought why not. Um, no, no, I do not have a Valentine this year. I'm working, I'm not even here for Valentine's Day, so it's all good guys, it's all good. Um, but for those that do, or for those that are having a Galentine's Day, just going out with girlfriends, whatever, this video is for you. This video is just to look nice. We're just going to do like a little soft something. Um, I'm not going to lie, I've not got a planned look exactly. Like, the look I'm thinking of, it's not planned out. I just know we're going to be doing like really soft, super like beautiful skin. Um, and then we're going to do something on the eyes, but I don't know what yet. Um, I'm thinking all matte, which is very strange for me, I know. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking just all matte on the eyes. But yes, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please remember to like, subscribe and hit the bell to miss none of my future videos. I post every Wednesday and Sunday at 8.30pm, so be sure not to miss that. And without further ado, I'm just going to zoom you in and then do my eyebrows. So we're actually switching it up today. Not a soap brow, not a normal brow, we're doing a pencil brow. I know, I, I don't know why, I'm really into it at the moment. Um, this is the Benefit Precise My Brow Pencil, this is in the shade 5. And I'm just going to be really just quickly, lightly filling these in. Like super light pressure. And just filling them in. So guys, eyebrows are done. Um, I just I prefer how this looks for day to day. Um, I think it's really natural, natural, um, but cute. So like I said, I used the Precise My Brow Pencil by Benefit in shade five, and then I primed my eyes and carved my eyebrows out with the one and only P. Louise base in shade two. And now for the eyeshadow, we're going to be jumping in to the. P. Louise Secrets in a Palette today. Oh my god, they brought out a Valentine's Day collection. I love it. I am obsessed with it. I have to admit. Um, but I don't have my hands on that. So, this is what we're going to be using today. Beautiful. Stunning. So, let me just get a few brushes that I know I'm going to need. And we'll get straight into it. Also, if you've ever seen like talking like this, but looking down, my brush bag's here, so that's where I like I look a lot of the time. Um, so yeah, if you ever think where is she looking, that's where I'm looking. So we're gonna start off, and I'm just gonna go over my base again. Yeah, I'm just gonna tap over this base, which is no creasing, and everything just a smooth blank canvas, just like that. And then I'm going to go into a little Morphe M506 brush, just this one, my favourite basically. And we're going to go into the shade Love Struck, it's in the deep brown. And I'm just going to be dipping in like tiny little bits at a time and really building the colour up. And what you want is that... That shade, you want to be able to see it when you look up, like that. So then you just want to like build that in like a circular shape. Not perfectly circular because it's not going to be like a halo eye or something. It's just like a contoured eye. And it just keeps tapping on and off, on and off. And then you want to like bring this circular. So I then, where the lashes end, use that as a guide. Start there. And then connect it up. Make sure you keep tapping off, guys, and then dipping back in. That's the best technique for this look. Also, this is like my go-to look at the moment. So, if you've been on my Instagram, which if you aren't following already, go follow me. Link down in the description box. Um, if you've seen any of my recents, this is the makeup I'm wearing. 
but it's just like this is going to be with a little bit of a twist. So really deepen that up. Make sure it's completely smooth and one colour like that. And then with whatever is left on your brush you want to just start softening the edges. Not blending them, just softening them so that when you apply the next colour it's not going to be as harsh. So then I'm going to go in with a, again, another M506 brush. This is still, oh, I've just got base on it. Well done, Mia. Well done. So, yeah, we are going to go into another M506 brush. Um, which one did I just use? I've got a few, you see. Okay, we use this one. I'm going to go into the shade Fling, which is a slightly lighter colour. Um, and then we're just going to basically go half on top and then half above so you get that perfect blend and then the same technique little and often keep tapping off your brush but keep the blends close we'll like really blend them out in a minute but for now just keep your blends nice and tight and then again soften the edges just slightly not a lot like that and now you can go in with dark tan which is like my bronzer um that's what i usually do but today i'm feeling like adventurous and i just feel like it's valentine's day why don't we go in with a pink so i'm gonna mix a little bit of fling and a little bit of s and m and a more so and then just taking like a big fluffy brush and then just circling the outer edges just to because you still want that blend and again just keep blending that out you really get that pink to show up though like don't be afraid to go in like I'm tapping all the excess off but I'm actually I am dipping into the pan you just want to sort of have it something like this at the moment and then just really just go in with that pink circle it and then bring it out just like feather that out slightly now what we're gonna do is go back in with fling Make sure that's all blended in really nicely and then go back in with the Love Struck shade to re-intensify. Again, don't forget a little at a time. But as you can see, like it really does make a difference re-intensifying the eyeshadows. Like so much difference. And you can do these steps as many times as you feel necessary. I'm going to just try and blend it out a little bit more just because I feel like I need to, especially towards the front. And then from a little, little bit, just whatever's left on my brush for fling. And then again with Love Struck, just whatever's left on the brush and then tap into a tiny bit more. Like that, and then I'm actually just going to tap a little bit of the love struck on the outer corner, just building that up, and then just tapping that inwards to get that like ombre effect, like that. And then on the lid, we're going to go into my Tati Beauty palette this one here lovely and when you open this you have all of this magic and we're going to go into this shade which is aura and i'm just going to be taking god that nearly fell off that that would not be good i'm going to be taking the aura shade that light shade and i'm just going to be tapping that on as you can see it's quite pigmented so you just want to sort of we're just like tapping this on the 
centre lid and then just sort of like bringing it down like patting it downwards but I just want this to be like a nice bright matte with like a little bit of smoke so I don't know if you can see that effect but I think it's beautiful just you can re-intensify it as much as you want I want it bright but I don't want it too bright so you just have to like keep messing around with it and once it everyone wants to message me when I'm filming it's so annoying anyway then just going back in with those shades to blend it out and soften the edges and that for me is the eye look like I just think that's stunning beautiful now I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and I will be right back to do the under eyes and face so as you can see both eyes are basically done and um, just a few finishing touches to do so all I'm gonna do now is literally take um this thing it's just like a, an angled brush um and I'm just going to take the love struck shade the darkest shade I'm just gonna line my eyelids with that just really getting tight to the lash line and then for the under eye I'm just going to quickly just put a little 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 bit of base under my eye and blend that out so now we've done that you can go back in with the same brush the same shade love struck and I'm just going to apply that as close to the lash line as possible and just build that colour up and in the centre bring it lower because it opens your eyes and then I'm just going to be taking this brush here which is a Morphe JH40 brush and I'm taking a little bit of fling and a little bit of the pink shade just open that out like that and then taking this brush here which is, is a weaver 231 brush just taking the pink shade and just blending that out just like that and it just makes sure I look so much bigger and anyway, I'm just going to do the other eye of camera quickly and we will be right back to the face okay everyone so I've just quickly primed my skin using the MAC um show cream in the shade gold light and now for the face we're going to be doing a little bit of cream contouring today just because i feel fancy so um, i've just applied that cream like i said and we're going to go straight into cream contouring before foundation just how i personally like to do it and this is what we're going to be using today this is the pretty little palette the dark one i think this is i don't think this is still being made but I just love it so we're going to be taking mainly this shade here as I'm not very tanned today I might even dip into that one um, so I'm just taking this on a Real Techniques contour brush dabbing it in, it's very pigmented guys so you don't need to do a lot and I'm just going to be literally a pigment um, just blending that in the areas where I think I need it the most so mainly just this is to warm the face up it's not contour as such not how I like to do it um, it's just pre bronze I just think it makes the skin look more natural than adding more powder on I'm going to dip it slightly into the deep shade just to add a little bit more definition and then I'm also going to be taking other shades on the jaw just really really carving that jaw out bringing it up and um, I'm going to be taking them two shades on the forehead blend it really really into the um, hairline oh god I'm losing my words really that and I like to bring it round personally I like to connect these contours like that and then again same on the other side um, so after that I'm going to be taking yeah I'll take this, this is fine I'm just going to be taking this brush here it's just P. Louise um, like base brush and I'm just going to be sort of 
drawing a line for my nose contour. So I personally like my nose to look longer and thinner. So I'm just taking a mixture of the light shade and the dark shade. I don't know why I'm tapping off because it's not powder. So I'm just going to be drawing two straight lines down and then like sort of dragging it up, not dragging it across, but dragging it up like that. And I know this looks strange at the moment, but then I do, I'm just going to curve this round. And I'm just, I am going to just blend that out slightly. Start blending that out. Just like that. Make sure no harsh edges. Um, probably shouldn't have brought it up that high actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the brush I used before to blend my base out. I'm just going to blend those lines out there like that. And then just take that down the nose as well. Just to really blend it out. So now it looks slightly strange. I'm going to even look sh even strange in a minute because I'm going to contour my lips. So same brush, same technique. And just outline your lips with this contour. Wow, I look like an absolute crazy person. But you know what? It's going to be worth it. Um, so, now that I'm looking really, really weird, we're just going to be taking some foundation. Thank God. Um, I'm just going to be taking the Wet n Wild foundation, the Focus Focus, and I'm just going to be putting that on my palette and going to be mixing a pump of the Bare Minerals uh, Bare Pro Glow in the shade Free. Just a pump. And then I'm just going to be stirring that around with my spatula and then I'm actually going to be taking my beloved dual fibre brush I'm going to be dotting my brush around in that really lightly um, and I'm just going to be using really light motions just applying the foundation sort of just like really light when I say light motions I mean I'm barely touching the face just going over that contour, but very lightly. Dipping back in when you need to, obviously. You don't want to use too little foundation, but you don't want to use too much. But once that's in, it should be looking very nice. And then I'm going to be taking, actually, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal. And this is quite a light, light concealer, but... Because we've got so much dark going on, I quite like it. And I'm just going to be tapping out um, this bit with the pea brush from Molly O'Brien. Blending out my concealer with, of course, the Real Technique setting brush. And I'm just going to be dabbing this in. So I know it's looking very extreme at the moment, but it will be okay. So now we've done that, I'm just going to be taking my Love Light Peaches and Cream brush and taking a cream blush today um, and I'm taking the Bare Minerals Luminous Pink blush I've never really tried this but I thought seeing as we're doing cream products today I might as well so I'm taking this Peaches and Cream PC15 brush dabbing that around and let's just see how this goes I'm just going to be lightly tapping that in See that's really pretty but it's not really showing up on camera as well. Let me just turn the brightness down a little bit. It is really pretty. We'll just see how that goes. I don't know if it's going to be a little bit cakey. We'll see. But anyway, now we're just going to be taking the Maybelline Fit Me powder and setting just the, where I applied the concealer. And I mean, just where I applied the concealer. So now we've done that, I am going to be applying a little bit of con contour. Just a little bit, just to add that extra oomph. And I'm just taking my um, beautiful MAC Dark Tan on my Molly O'Brien Arabella brush. And I'm just going to be tapping a little bit of this on. And I mean tapping. And then I'm going to go into 
the Peaches and Cream um, PCO3 brush. I'm going to be taking this Bare Minerals blush. So I don't know if this is going to be too much. It, this is a loose blush, you see. So I'm just going to be doing that. And then let's just see. I'm, I'm just going to... Very nice. I like it. So anyway, now highlighter, of course. We have to have highlight. I'm going to be going into the Dolbeauty. This is the double trick, but I'm actually going to be using probably more of the gold today. Um, and I'm just going to be applying that right on, this, on the tops of my cheeks bones and just sort of blending circular motions outwards. That's all you need. Now, um, I think, I can't quite decide which lashes I'm going to wear today. I'm going to be wearing my Alero Buttercup London because honestly they, they are my favourite. I think they're the most beautiful lashes ever. I think I'm going to use the Paloma ones today. These are slightly heavier um, and I feel like Valentine's Day, you just want that sultry, sexy look, don't you? So that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to go in with the Paloma lashes. So I'm just going to be applying a little bit of glue to them and I'm going to be trimming them and then I will be back to put my lips on. So I've just applied some glue to my lashes. Well, I don't know if I can call it applying because the lash glue literally just exploded. And it went everywhere, but it's okay. It's okay, we're moving on. Um, so for lips today, we are going to go in with the Primark Lip Pencil in Spice. I'm obsessed with this at the moment. And just going to be overlining slightly. But basically what we're going to do now is take this lipstick, which I'm obsessed with, and I'm actually going to take it on the brush. I feel like you have more control, just think it's better. And this is the Doll Beauty Dolled Out. Oh, obsessed with this. This lip combo is my go-to at the minute. Okay, tapping that on. Now you can leave it matte, you can add a gloss. I don't know, I feel like Valentine's Day girls, I just think it's best keeping it matte. Gloss gets everywhere. Especially if you're going out for a meal. So guys, this is the finished look with lashes. I absolutely adore this look. I think it's stunning. Um, I just think it's the most cute look ever. Um, eyelash glue is still drying on this eye just by the way but who else loves this look but yeah I really hope you've enjoyed this video and if you decide to recreate this please tag me in it like I said all my social media is linked down in the description box so please go check that out and yeah I just really hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please remember to like subscribe and hit the bell to make sure you miss none of my future videos remember I post every Wednesday and Sunday 8.30pm so be sure not to miss that but this is the end of this video for today. I just want to say one big, big last thank you for watching and I shall see you all in my next video. Bye guys.